So we practice building basic column and pie or donut charts to show titles by genre or rating. Now let's try showing both dimensions together. So let's plan to add a third chart to this sheet by selecting our second pivot table, going into our tools, selecting the entire table, control C to copy it, and then control V to paste a third independent pivot table. And this one we can go ahead and name titles by genre and rating, just to make it super clear what we're trying to show here. Now again, exactly what I'm trying to show is the breakout of titles by both genre and rating in the same chart. So in this case, using a clustered column or a clustered bar chart uh, will be a really great option for us. So let's go ahead and drag genre out of the filters view and into our column labels while keeping rating as our row labels. Now when we do that, if I scroll up, you'll see that it totally squished our existing charts. And that's happening because Excel is auto-fitting these column widths in our pivot table view. And I'm going to show you two really useful tips in the next lecture to show you how to prevent this from happening. But for now, let's just click both of these charts. I'm going to shift click to grab both and then just drag to extend them back to a full view. Now let's select rating and edit our sort option. Instead of descending by the number of titles, I actually want, in this case, ascending by the number of titles. So low to high as opposed to high to low. And why don't we go into our genre sorting and filter options and apply a value filter here to just show the top five items by the number of titles. Nice little compact view. It's kind of a two-dimensional tabular view that shows ratings along my rows and top five genres along my columns. So from here, with any cell in the pivot selected, I'm going to go into Tools, Pivot Chart, and as you can see, it suggests a clustered column, which we could certainly use. In this case, I just want a slight variation, which is clustered bars. It's basically just the horizontal layout of a column chart. So I can press OK and drag it down here. Now, check this out. This chart gives us a really nice way to visualize how many titles fall into each genre for each specific rating. So we can see that there aren't many titles overall with G ratings, but among them, the majority are categorized under the adventure genre shown here in the yellow bar, whereas R films are much more prevalent in general and skewed more toward action in orange and comedy in blue. So that's certainly getting the job done. Last little tip that I want to cover here, if you don't care about maintaining the ability to filter your fields in the chart itself, you can always go into your pivot chart tools, analyze options, and select hide all from this field buttons drop down. And there you go. Personally, I prefer this option since it keeps things looking much cleaner within the chart itself. And since I will always have the ability to continue to filter the data through the pivot table itself. So there you go, basic clustered bar chart.